Sweetheart. How do you feel? Oh, uh, okay. A little tired. I think it's the pain medication. I assume you've already heard. Uh, no, not yet. Heard what? What haven't you told me? What's going on? What happened to me? Well, Emily, it's a... it's a good thing. Mom's right, it's a good thing, Emily. If it was a good thing, I think you would have told me already. It's, uh, it's not their fault. I wanted to be the one to tell you. Uh, can we have a minute alone, please? I don't know if that's... Yes, yes, sure you can. Office of Carlson. Alan Sander has earned the right. He should be the one to tell her. He's had all night and he still hasn't told her. Well, she is leaving without him. That's got to hurt. Even though he knows it's best for her. So, are you going to tell me already? Your parents, uh, they found this, this incredible place, um, this facility where you can go and get better. And the best part about this place is that you will be safe. Your dad says it's out in the country, just trees and flowers and birds. Sounds like the place of my dream. Maybe I'm psychic. When we get there, I'll tell you if it looks like the place of my dream. So, wh when are we when are we leaving? Well, you're leaving right away. The sooner the better. What about you? Uh, see, Sonny, Sonny's got this job, uh, his job lined up for me, and um, and I have to I have to start right away. And, uh, I mean, you know, after all he's done for me, you know, I mean, I can't, I can't let him down, right? Well, how long is the job going to be? I'm, I'm not sure exactly. There is no job. You're doing this to Emily, you're wrong. You took advantage of a situation to try to force me to stop seeing Xander, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. I'm not going anywhere. Emily, Emily, idea. It was the only way that I could see to get you out of this mess that I got you into. As soon as you are clear of me, you'll be out of danger. Xander, don't make them do this, please. I love you. I love you, and that's, that's why this has to happen. 
Emily, I know this is difficult. But Xander only wants you safe. We all do, Em. It's for the best, Emily. How is this for the best, Grandfather? Tell me, huh? You think that I'm just going to forget about Xander, that that's going to be it? You can't do this. You won't be able to stay away from me. I know you. I won't know where you are. I told them not to tell me. Oh, because I won't take your calls once you get there. And once you get better, there's no reason that the two of you... Just stop, okay? Just stop! You know, I'd really appreciate it if you stopped trying to manage my life and stopped trying to live my life! Can I have just a minute? I want to speak to Xander and Emily alone. Please. I don't know what Ned thinks he can do. He can waste his time and everyone else's. It's very clear that Emily will not listen to reason on any subject that concerns that degenerate, and I think it is way past time for someone to take a strong hand with her. Oh, good idea, Edward. We'll just drag her off. Her legs don't work anyway, so oh, she won't on. put up much of a fight. We'll throw her into rehab, and then we'll brainwash her to get her back in the family line. Monica and I care deeply about Emily's happiness. We're doing everything we can to protect her. And I'm not going to apologize for that. Not to you, not to anyone. I need to be with Xander. I want that more than anything in the world. Then you need to change someone's perception. Who's grandfather's dad? Yours. I don't need to change my mind about anything. All I know is that I want to be with Xander. I want us to be together. Really? <clears throat> Being together isn't what sustains love. I mean, think about all the people who are together, but are about as far apart as two people can be. Xander is really trying to do the right thing. He's trying to keep you safe. So, instead of fighting him, maybe you should just accept his help. Accept the gift that he's giving you. I don't know what to do. I do. 